today i'm going to make a uh, six months to one year baby hat okay for that i'm going to make slip knot okay chain three one two three and then slip stitch in the first chain to form a ring okay so now we just form a ring now so i'm going to make chain three and nine double crochet inside the ring so one two three four five six seven eight nine okay now i am going to make slip stitch in the top of the chain three okay Okay, I have done the slip stitch now. So first round completed. Second round, chain four, one, two, three, four. Double crochet in the same stitch. Okay, and then double crochet in the next stitch. then double crochet chain one double crochet in the next stitch double crochet chain one double crochet in the next stitch okay and then again double crochet in the next stitch then double crochet chain one double crochet in the next stitch then double crochet in the next stitch double crochet chain one double crochet in the next stitch then double crochet in the next stitch the double crochet chain one double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch okay so i'm going to make slip stitch to finish the second row okay so 15 double crochet you can count it okay so slip stitch again one more slip stitch in the center of the chain one space okay now chain three double crochet in the chain one space chain one two double crochet in the chain one space one two okay and then double crochet in the next stitch and then in the chain one space two double crochet chain one two double crochet the chain one space okay every chain one space we are going to make two double crochet chain one two double crochet two double crochet chain one two double crochet and every double crochet we are going to make same double crochet so this is the pattern of the third row okay then double crochet in the next stitch and then two double crochet chain one two double crochet in the chain one space Two double crochet and two. 
okay and then double crochet in the next stitch and then the chain one next to chain one space I'm going to make two double crochet chain one two double crochet and then double crochet in the next double crochet stitch and then the chain one space I'm going to make two double crochet chain one two double crochet and then in the next double crochet I'm going to make one double crochet okay totally 25 double crochet in this row so I'm going to make slip stitch to finish the row okay so third row completed now again two more slip stitches in the next two stitch so I'm going to make again one more slip stitch in the center of the chain one space so chain three double crochet chain one again two double crochet one two the chain one space okay then in the next double crochet stitch okay in the next double crochet stitch I'm going to make double crochet chain one double crochet okay in the next double crochet stitch double crochet chain one double crochet in the same double crochet stitch okay and then in the chain one space two double crochet chain one two double crochet this is the pattern of fourth row so every double crochet stitch we are going to make double crochet chain one double crochet every chain one space we are going to make two double crochet chain one two double crochet so this is the pattern okay and then in the next double crochet stitch not in the space okay double crochet chain one double crochet and then the chain one space two double crochet chain one two double crochet okay and then in the next double crochet stitch going to make double crochet chain one double crochet okay and then in the next chain one space two double crochet one two chain one two double crochet and in the next double crochet stitch to make double crochet chain one double crochet in the next chain one space I am going to make two double crochet one two chain one two double crochet okay in the next double crochet stitch I am going to make double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet okay so totally 30 double crochet in the fourth row so now I am going to finish it off with the slip stitch okay fourth row completed see here now I am going to make slip stitch in the next two stitches so one and two so now we came to the center of the chain one space so of the row going to work I am going to start chain three double crochet chain one two double crochet okay so now we are going to work on only chain one space again two double crochet chain one two double crochet so this is the pattern so we are in this round we are going to work two double crochet chain one two, two double crochet in all the chain one space okay so again I am going to make two double crochet two then chain one double crochet and then one more double crochet so and then in the next chain one space two double crochet chain one two double crochet so in every chain one space we are going to work on two double crochet chain one two double crochet so this is a simple fifth row okay so again 
double crochet one double crochet two chain one then two double crochet one two okay so in the next chain one space again one double crochet two double crochet chain one one double crochet two double crochet okay then in the next chain one space double crochet two double crochet chain one one double crochet two double crochet in the next chain one space one double crochet two double crochet chain one one double crochet two double crochet okay in the next chain one space one double crochet two double crochet chain one one double crochet two double crochet okay so in the next chain one space double crochet two double crochet chain one double crochet then double crochet okay so going to finish it off this round with slip stitch okay in this round 40 double crochet okay and then again two more slip stitch to finish off the row so i came to the center of the chain one space now okay okay this is the design now chain three double crochet chain one two double crochet one two okay now i'm going to make double crochet in the next space okay so in the every space i'm going to make double crochet and every chain one space i'm going to make two double crochet chain one two double crochet so this is the pattern of the row okay so again double crochet and then two double crochet chain one two double crochet then next double crochet the next space double crochet then in the next space two double crochet chain one two double crochet in the next space one double crochet okay this is the design and then in the next space two double crochet chain one two double crochet the next space one double crochet next space two double crochet chain one two double crochet the next space one double crochet and the next space two double crochet chain one two double crochet The next space one double crochet in the next space two double crochet chain one two double crochet the next space one double crochet okay now again two double crochet chain one two double crochet chain one Two double crochet one two then double crochet in the next space the next space two double crochet chain one two double crochet next space one double crochet slip stitch to finish the sixth row so totally 50 double crochet in this row okay so this is the design okay okay now slip stitch the next two stitches one oops. one and two 
So now I came to the center of the chain 1 space, chain 3, double crochet, chain 1, 2 double crochet, 2. Now I am going to make front post double crochet in the next double crochet. Okay, see here. So in this double crochet, I am going to make one front post double crochet like this. Okay. And then the next chain one space throughout the row we are going to make like this. So next chain one space, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. And then in the next double crochet I am going to make one front post double crochet. Okay. So continue the same in the next eight rows. Okay, I will see you after that so continue the same pattern so I have completed 14 rows now okay see the design it will be like this okay so so you can count the rows 14 rows I have completed So now I am going to work on 15th row. So I am going to finish the 14th row by using the slip stitch. So again 2 more slip stitch 1 and 2. So came to the center of the chain 1 space. Now chain 3, 7 double crochet in the chain 1 space. So 1, so chain 3 count as 1 double crochet. So total 8 double crochet in the chain 1 space. So now third double crochet we are making then 4, then 5, 6, 7, then 8. So 8 double crochet in the every chain 1 space you are going to make. Okay. So front post double crochet in the front post and then again 8 double crochet in the chain 1 space. So this is the last row. So this is the, you can continue the same pattern throughout the 15th row. 8 double crochet in the chain 1 space, front post double crochet in the front post double crochet. So this is the pattern. Okay. So front post double crochet in the front post double crochet. So continue the same. We will see you once I finish this row. Okay. Continue the same design throughout the row. Same 8 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so once you finish, I will show you the hat. Okay, I have completed the 15th row. You just to see the design now. This shell will look like beautiful for the kid. So I am going to make a slip stitch to finish the 15th row. And I have beautiful hat is ready now. Okay, you can see how it will be. The design is like that. So you can make this pattern for toddler, adults or by changing the initial double crochet count. 9 double crochet we made right for this hat. So we are going to make 11 or 13, 15. So like that you can extend the sizes for the hat. You can use the same pattern. Okay. See how it will be. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.